The Heisman, this show, Luke Jackson, Luke Ridnour, Oregon's top two scorers against Kansas here. Keep an eye on Ian Crosswhite, tying his shoe on the floor. Point guard Luke Ridnour looks back, waits for him, still tying his shoe. Mini laces, finally comes up the court, and then he sets the screen for Ridnour because the shoes are in place. Eventually he will do that. Oh, <laughs> foreshadowing what would happen there. It's a patient offense. They want to work the clock. There's the screen. And he drills the three. Mm -hmm. Crosswhite ducks up 47-43. That was a long play. Keith Langford, jumper in the lane. Everyone's shoes tied. At 74, the game also. Ridnour with three minutes to go. Cranking a three. Jackson there, plus the foul. He'll make that. Missed the free throw, though. Jackson, 26 points, 76-74, the Ducks. Nick Collison, stripped of the ball. Jackson for Ridnour. Ooh. Oregon up five, and then Ridnour put it away, waited for no one here. Just launches 25 points. He had nine assists. Ducks beating Kansas 84 78, and there's more. Notre Dame, Maryland, the BB and T Classic. Terps up one of the first. Chris Thomas not looking. Think how well he did, or would do if he did, or how well I would do if I spoke early. Torn Francis, Irish by one. Now Thomas left alone. Easy dunk. Irish by six. Terps defense not going so swell right now. Later in the first, Irish by five. Danny Miller, that transfer from Maryland, he had 17, three of them right there. Irish by eight, up to 10 at the break. Second half, Thomas going alley-oop. Francis will finish. Irish by eight here. Another easy one for Francis. He's tall. Gary Williams, he's sad. Irish by 12, Miller, three, finish it. The upset, Maryland goes down by a count of 79 to 67. Two winningest programs in college basketball, Kentucky and North Carolina. First half, and uh, the little freshman, Raymond Felton on the miss, but watch him drop this dime. Gotcha, hooks up. Richard McCants for the flush. Felton had 18 points. McCants just getting started. Goes to the rack and scored. Then McCants from three, and you know what? Do it to me one more time. Yeah. McCants. Oh, Trey Punte. McCann, 17 points on 7 of 7 shooting in the first half. He finished with 22, 43, 40 at the half. Second half, that's Sean May, Scott May's kid. He's in foul trouble, and that means it's time for Marcus Estill to go to work. Little jump hook. He was scoreless in the first half, but Kentucky made 22 of 33 second half shots. Estill did his thing, and then off the trap. That's loving. Great ball movement, part of an 18-2 run. Kentucky runs away with this game, 98-81. Gerald Fitch had a career-high 25 points. Tommy Amaker and Michigan rolling in to take on his former employer, Duke and Coach K. Chris Duhon, the pickoff, then Duhon breaks up another one. And uh, did I tell you Chris Duhon playing defense? Mm. Another steal there, that's Shavlik Randall. 14 steals for Duke later. Duhon, the nice steal, and he goes coast to coast for the flush. He had 15 points, 25 turnovers for Michigan in this game. Later, Duhon to Dante Jones. Jones had 17 points, and now Michigan off to their worst start in school history as Duke wins big. Arizona and San Diego State as we get back to college basketball and the Sports Center version of the Waltons. There's Father Bill, son Luke who plays for Arizona, son Chris the Redshirt Jr. from San Diego State, the oldest brother Adam who was in attendance, and Bill's brother Bruce. These Waltons don't live on Walton's Mountain, they actually live in San Diego in a teepee. Anyway, first half, tied at 17, and that's Luke. He pulls up to the bumper and hits a three. And there's a picture of Luke as a kid in the bathtub. Why not? Not in Walton's Mountain, though. <laughs> Later. Great ball move by Arizona, and Luke hits the three. He finished with seven points, four assists, and that was just love back in the Walton's home. <laughs> Luke Walton, a friendly guy, and uh, he loved his dog. He loves Hassan Adams, his teammate from Los Angeles. He hooks him up with the oops upside your head. 89-81, the final. A lot of family members here today, a lot of friends. Great to see that. Yeah, it was a, it was a nice uh, nice turnout. I talked to a lot of people, and uh, you know, it was, a, it was a fun homecoming. Congratulations, and thanks for making me such a proud dad. Don't you love it when you can give your dad like the little pound afterwards? St. Bonaventure in Alabama, and that's Patricio Prado. He had 14 of his 19 points in the second half. 
St. Bonaventure trying to make noise. Huh? Then Irwin Dudley gets busy. Tied up six in the second half. Dudley, the little tip. And then next possession, Irwin Dudley inside. That's why he's the reigning SEC Player of the Year. And uh, then Irwin Dudley. If you don't box him out, he'll hurt your feelings. He had 28 points. That's a career high. Tied rolls, 77-68. We got Texas and George Washington. Texas up four. Royal Ivy. Baseline. Silly shot. It's good. Texas up six. He had eight points in this game. Under four minutes left, Texas up five. James Thomas taking over the game. TJ Ford, the bounce pass. James Thomas with the dunk and the foul. Ford had eight assists. Deginald Erskine to Thomas for the jam. Texas up nine. Brand Mouton, Thomas wants more. 10 of 11 from the field, 26 points. Texas wins by eight. In USC, Missouri number 15. First half, Missouri down one. Ricky mm -hmm. Clemens traffic. Put it in, Missouri's up one. Oh was down one, now up one, that's what I should say. Clemens throwing up a prayer, and it's answered. Ends the game with 16. Second half, game tied at 60. Desmond Farmer from three. Got it. USC's up by three. Ricky Paulding. A three back. Mizzou up 70 to 69. Mizzou would hit seven of the last 11 free throws, and John wouldn't like the game. Two of my favorite coaches, Hartford's Larry Harrison, Oklahoma's Kelvin Sampson, Ebby Ara, really the story. Going to the rack, just flips it up and kisses it off the glass. Oh, you up by 24 over Hartford. Later in the second, Ara, don't stop till you get enough. A little fadeaway, Jay. He was 11 of 18 from the floor, and later on the break, Quanis White to Ara and ouch. Ouch. He had a career high 33. Sooners win big. 92 to 52. Indiana was home to Illinois Chicago, commonly known as UIC. Indiana up 18 to 9. Tom Coverdale faking it, steps over, and then it's the three. 21 to 9. Eight minutes left to play in the first. Coverdale bringing it up. AJ Moy. That's easy. Indiana by 18 at the break. Hoosier still leading by 18 in the second here. Jeff Newton. Let's just watch. That's so fun. Charlie Steiner taught us that technique. Newton finishes with 25. Hoosiers win easy. Penn State, Brandon Knight, oh, good pass. Donatus Zavakis is waiting for that. Oh, yeah. Zavakis at 20. Second half, Knight driving, many people on him. Kicks it out, Zavakis, four, four from out there. Later, Knight, four steals in this game, and that was one. Nil finish. Pittsburgh pouring it on. Knight playing D again. Waits for the pass. Not looking, it's Julius Page. He will finish. Page at 14. Pitt, winner, Penn State. 0-5 so far. How about Wagner and UConn? UConn trying to go 5-0 early in the first. Ben Gordon, the launch a big out three. Denim Brown slams it home instead. The freshman at nine. Second half, UConn's out by five points. Gordon got a three to drop. He finished with a game eye 29. Five threes for him. UConn's up six here. Mecca Okafor. Jumper won't go. Tony Robertson there and back. Okafor will finish. He had 23, 19 rebounds, eight blocks. UConn wins at 97 to 85. With the Fighting Irish looking to finish off a week, any computer worth its strength, the schedule chip would just love. Unranked ND taking out number 10 Marquette Monday, number 8 Maryland Saturday. Oh boy. Bummer. That's unnecessary. Then working over number 2 Texas Sunday. Notre Dame, Texas. Hey, the BB and T class are getting the Cotton Bowl's dream matchup. Coach Mike Brace, we weren't even on the radar screen when we came to Washington. Torrey and James on the screen. Eight points, 83-82, Texas takes the lead. He misses the free throw, but they don't box out. Danny Miller to Chris Thomas. Make it 85-83, Notre Dame leads. 19 points for Thomas. Notre Dame now up four. T.J. Ford, fine point guard, but gets Ooh. swatted by Torin Francis there. Four, 12 assists, but four turnovers. That one hurt. Notre Dame's going to go on and win the B&T &T Classic. 98-92 to cap a spectacular week of basketball. Gary Williams and the aforementioned Terps trying to avoid an 0-3 week taking on crosstown rival GW. Steve Blake gets the rebound. Take a look at all five Maryland players are in the lane. But now take a look. Let's get out in the break. Four-year starter point guard Steve Blake finds his fellow senior Drew Nicholas. One, two, three the hard way. He was five of seven from three-point range, and so was Blake. But Blake, who had a career-high 27, done, nah, don't give me any of that mess. Take it to the bucket and one. They're dangerous when he shoots the ball. Maryland wins at 93-82. In Florida, that's sophomore David Lee who had just two points on Friday when Gators beat up on Florida State. There's Lee getting too early. Now he's doubling that output. 
Another slam. Work the high percentage shot. He that'll, can dunk. That'll be, and he's going to do it one more time. Four dunks in the first seven minutes. He finished with 16. Still in the first Florida up 10. All right. We'll try the harder shots. Give him a bonus point for that. Anthony Roberson and another three. He had 16 in the first half alone. Florida wins at 68-52. Their 33rd straight home non-conference win. Nebraska hosts in the 17th ranked Gophers, and it was the Andrew Drevo show. Give me all three of these. All right. Gophers will settle and everything will be fine. Or not. Drevo once again. It's 6-0. It's 8 0 now, then Drevo with a little follow action. He had 10 points of the Oscar 16 love run to start it, and then once again, just to show he didn't forget how to do it, 27. Not such a good deal for this. Little college basketball, Vandy in Indiana, and uh, the story here freshman Gracie Wright averaging 17 and 7. Early on, Wright hits the three. Indiana up by three. George Leach, little back door to Wright for the bucket. Five nothing Indiana, then Wright again, Trey Pute. Wright had the first eight points for Indiana later in the first. Indiana up by 12, Wright. Gotcha. Wright with 16 points, Vanderbilt with eight. Gracie, what's going on? I was out here like two hours before the game working on my shot, just shooting jump shots, um, shooting free throws, so it paid off for me. Second half, Bracey's still flowing. He may be young, but he's ready. Indiana with a 15-point lead after he pulls up to the bumper and drops the three. Later in the second, Hoosiers on the break. Nice catch, concentration. That's the easiest one of the night. 73-56 the final. Right, the freshman, a career-high 31 points. Xavier coached that Mata facing Charlie Coles, the Miami, Ohio Red Hawks. Mata, an assistant. So for Coles, it's like old home week. First half, Xavier up eight. David West, 100th for the start. Gets an assist to David Young. Xavier up 13 at the half. Diedrich Finn to West, and oh boy, you get no points for that. And then Lionel Chalmers to Keith Jackson and gets no points for that. Coach is like, dude, if you're going to miss him, just shoot for three. So if it happens, you're going to get like a bonus point. Less than 10 to go. Xavier up eight. David West, oh, rejecting Gene Seals. Chalmers had 18. There's two of them. West, 18 and 12. Xavier wins at 68 58. 30 and 2 all time at Cintas Center. Center, Columbia Mo. First half, Ricky Paulding stealing. And he's jumping mm. do a lot, to be you? young and athletic. 21-17. Well, they all right. Matt Rohde drains a guy at 13 of GB's first 15 points, 26 in the game. Still a two-point game in the second half. Ricky Clemens gets that to go. Four-point game, and then Paulding going to finish it off with the flush. He had 25. Missouri eventually pulls away in this thing. 88-67. Coach Dew got a gold tie. Nice to see.